Recently, I was asked to teach the Faraday experiment, and that may help you to understand how a fuel cell works. Electrolysis is using electrical energy to generate materials at the anode and cathode of a battery. And in this particular experiment, we used it to generate hydrogen gas at the cathode and oxygen gas at the anode. This process has been in commercial use for over 100 years. And here we are at the battery, and soon we will scoot over, pan over. Here we are to the two electrodes, anode and cathode. And let's start collecting the oxygen gas from the anode. The hydrogen is coming up. We're not collecting that in this experiment. And if you watch very carefully, you can see that there went an oxygen bubble right there. So we have indeed used electrolysis or electrical energy to generate the gas. But in the 1840s, some scientists reasoned, well, if you can generate hydrogen and oxygen with electricity, could you not reverse the process and bring hydrogen and oxygen together to make the electricity? So the technology has been known for many years, but has only recently become practical. There are many types of fuel cells out there, but the most popular are the proton exchange membranes as they can run at ambient temperatures. Although only 50% efficient, the water is readily available and easily regenerated. And here we see a fuel cell generated by reversing the video, but it can be done by reversing the chemistry. Thank you.